David Johan Robinson, you have been found guilty of refusing to swear allegiance to the crown. My allegiance is to God. And by your refusal, you have confirmed the suspicions of this court that your sympathies remain with France at a time when that country poses a grave threat to our own. I am no spy Therefore, for Napoleon. it is the sentence of this court that you be transported to the penal colony of Port Jackson in New South Wales, there to serve out a tariff of not less than nine years at His Majesty's pleasure. Next case. We'll go with you, David. We'll find a way. Tasmanian devil is. Tasmanian devil. What is it then? I don't want to say. <coughs> Isabel might be frightened. I like it. Play it again. to let him borrow her. You 
petitioned his majesty's government to go with him. How could a man let you be transported to the other side of the world simply through a difficulty with his conscience? How could any man do this? Lieutenant Blunt, my husband is not any man. And you? You're not any woman, are you? Thousands of miles from home, Lara Robinson. What must it be like? As long as I'm with my family, I am at home. Time to move this one out. No! He's gone. You cannot move this man until his time has come. No! 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 The captain needs you! Johnson Roberts! I need you! This convict assaulted me! Let's have a convict help her, please. However much you hurt me, your pain will never leave you until you embrace God. Carry on till I tell you to stop. Enough, Lieutenant Blunt! We have more pressing matters! Captain! This convict attacked an able seaman under my command and must be disciplined! No! We are God knows how far off course, Blunt! And you choose to... Bozan! Get men up there now! A whale up there! Hands! Reach your mind! Break it! Thank you, Jacob. It's all right. Come away. Hands to the wheel! He's making one, Captain! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! 
Dungeon nearer. Father! The lantern ends! One, two, three! Get you out. This time we'll get you out. No. Father, land. I'm aching. We're all thirsty and aching. First, we must look for Jacob. You're not going anywhere. The boys will go. Fritz. Stay along the shore. Look for a harbour. Look for the launches. But it's very unlikely. The wind was westerly. The launches would have been blowing the other way. Look all the same. Stick with the coastline. Yes, Father. If Jacob is anywhere near here, we'll find him. It's all there is. Come on. I hate this place.
Again. Uh, again. This is impossible. Let's move up there. The father said we should stay to the coast. Father didn't see that. Come on, we'll never find Jacob at this rate. The launch left the ship. I heard Molly call out, saying he was safe. Yes, you said. It's an island. No sign of habitation. No sign of the launches. I did say. Nothing else for a hundred miles. Hello! Is there anyone here? Jacob! 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 If they saw the land, They'd surely head for it. But in the storm? At night? Did you hear something? Hmm? Shh. That. Run! You're gonna be all right. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's been hours. Broken it! You've broken my arm! No, you haven't. It's not broken. This is all your fault. Why do we have to come up here? Father said. Ah! It's all right. You dislocated your shoulder. I put it back. I saw Mr. Thomas Stewart for Joseph Jeffrey in school. <sighs> Jeffrey cried his eyes out. <laughs> Did he? <sighs> Damn it. We have to stay here. It's going to be too wet and it's going to be too dark.
Here. What is it? I don't know the exact Latin name, I'm afraid. It smells all right, though. It's edible, I think. Come on, we've no choice. The worst it can give us is bellyache. Disobeyed me. You had no choice. You had to go in there. You should have returned. Think how your mother worried. First Jacob. Thought if we were to find Jacob, we should find a vantage point so we could get. Are you answering me back. David. I am the head of this family. And I am to be obeyed. I'm sorry, Father. I let you down. But we could not follow the coast. Ernst said we should come back. I did not listen. We climbed high and looked down. We're on an island. An island? Are you sure? Yes. And the launchers? We couldn't see every cove, obviously, but... Any other land? Not that we could see. Ernst says that means we're at least 20 miles from anywhere. 22 miles, in fact. Very well. If we are marooned without help, we must help ourselves. Come. Lord. You have sent this trial to test us, and we ask your strength and guidance that we may survive it. In particular, we ask that you watch over our son and brother Jacob and return him safely to us. Baby's dead. Don't you understand? He's gonna be all right.
father. Father, someone's still on the ship. Listen. Take them. Who knows what wild animals we shall meet. Ernst, please. Need a hammer. Maybe under. Blacksmith. Ernst, starts with some timber and some rope. We're going to build ourselves a raft. I'm afraid I may hurt you. Don't be. Never again, Fritz. Never again. Time to give him up, Molly. Aye. Before he starts to stink. Why don't you let me hold him for a while? Why don't we lay him down to sleep in the water now? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, look, over there. Looks like our place. Let's collect the ladies first. Oi! You do that, 
กราบขอเอาโว้ยว้าวหันไปดูหน่อยดิเอาไปเลยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยCaptain Quirk, sir. Welcome aboard the Albatross. Blunt. Captain of His Majesty's Endymion. A convict ship bound for Port Jackson. Caught the storm? Yes. Lucky to be alive. Indeed, sir. We owe you that. Oh. Trader. In and out of the islands with the savages. Humble transactions. You might have been luckier. I'd have found yourself a British naval frigate. Oh no, sir. I'm well content with the luck that we had. Our hammer. Food, gentlemen. You hear that? What is it? The start of civilization, Lara. Fire. This is the captain's tobacco flint. We could cook a chicken. Oh, that is surely inadvisable. So is starvation. Lara, we must make hard decisions. I think father means they're an investment. I think mother doesn't know that. No, I... So we shall spend a little of our capital. Is that the right word, Ernst? Uh, yes. Right. Father? Oh. 
What would Jacob be eating now? Knowing Jacob, he's probably just eaten enough food to keep us going for a week. Hospitality's made new men of us, Captain Clerk. Captain Blunt, you would have done the same for us. We'll take you to Port William. I'm sure you'll find a naval vessel there, and I hope you won't mind a few stops along the way. Not at all. But you should permit my men and myself to work our passage. It will not be necessary, sir. My crew is extremely hard working. You have trade in these parts, then? We do, as you shall see. Captain Blunt, eh? Aye. Do you think, Captain Blunt, they're heading in chance in the storm? My family. If there's any justice in this harsh and stony world of ours. And your mother will surely be alive. be edible. If they're in one of his books, Ernst will maybe be able to tell us which. Otherwise, we'll have to experiment. Edible. The durian or durian zibethemus. It says here it tastes like heaven, despite the repellent smell. You see? This island will sustain us. And there will be other crops we can harvest. Sustain us, father? How long are we to be here? Shouldn't we be building a, a signal fire or something? Later, Fritz. That must come later. First, we must learn to survive. This is edible. It's called a sandori. It's a staple of the East. Sarah found two enormous trees full of these on the way back. What on earth is that smell? Interesting. I think this might be the stem of a nut. Good. Good. The Lord provides. Mm. What's that? It's a buffalo. The nature is prodigal on this island of ours. Tethered him, he could help us pull the heavier pieces of timber. Fritz, find us a length of rope. Are you sure this is a good idea? Oh, he seems to be quite biddable. <laughs> Steady! Oh. we 
learned a lesson. Which is? Next time we'll build high up in the trees. That way nothing will be able to reach us. So tomorrow, we return to the ship and get the supplies we need. Sleeping. But, but father, look, we can see a ship. Ship. We must signal. Crit, Ernst, light a fire. Quickly, get the flint. What is it? I cannot tell. David, come on! I don't think this is going to work. Look, the sun is against us. What are you talking about? Well, the, the, the iris of the human eye closes in response to light. Basically, this whole day will appear to be a dark patch on the horizon. We need the light of numerous fires. We don't need a fire. The Endymion, she's full of gunpowder. We cannot lose this ship. But it's not even seaworthy. Father means the supplies are on board. We need them. No, no, no. Father is saying that... Can you not speak for me? Answer's right. If we burn the Endymion and fail to attract attention, we've lost everything. If there is one ship passing, there'll be others. But we could be rescued. It could be the last ship we've seen weeks. David. Jacob could be on that ship. I'll do it. Fritz! Give me the flint. Stay with your mother and sister. Let me help you. No. If anything happens, you're in charge. Why is it taking so long?
Too late. It's not turning. Of rum. Sir, may I come ashore? Of course you can come ashore. I've been thinking, Jake. Something's been weighing on my mind. Something you could help me with. Just between real men. Come with me. This is a piece of silver. <laughs> I want to give it to the captain for his kindness to us, but he won't take it, so I want you to give it to him. Me? I want you to put it in his trunk. Here. Need a key. Under the pillow. No, not there. Would you say the captain was an imaginative man? Uh. Neither would I. Desk drawer. Pull it right out.
ครับไปครับไปครับไปครับไปครับไปครับไปครับไปครับไปครับโอเคเชิญคุณเขาบอกว่าจะทำให้คุณรู้จักบางคนที่มีความสามารถมากกว่าคุณหรือเปล่าไม่งั้นเราควรจะรอคุยกับเขาอีกนานแล้วคุณอาจจะต้องใช้เวลานานพอที่คุณจะขายของของคุณเราขายของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของ He's got a profit right under his nose, and he can't see it. When a man sees a shiny penny lying on the ground, and he doesn't pick it up, he leaves it there. What does that tell us? Don't follow. It tells us, does it not? He's already got a pretty penny in his pocket. Something. I thought we were going to die out there. I really did. It sort of changes you, inside. Yes, it does. Here, try this. It's better than it looks. You know, I was thinking that we should stay here. Some of the traders stay all year round. They could use the help. Some of us reckon we can make quite a life for ourselves in these parts. No, not me. I have to go to Port William f o r my family. I thought she was with you. She's probably gone to the lagoon. No, I looked. Sarah. Sarah. She can't have gone far. Thank <laughs> you. 
David. Fred, fetch the musket. Ernst, you circle around that way. Your brother will follow. Now, Fritz! No. You stay here. No. Sarah. But we're only playing. Come to me. I have to go now, Mr. Cribbs. Gave it to me. Shall I tell you how Mr. Cribbs speaks? He speaks like. You do not talk to strangers. You know that! My shell! Father, I hate you! He could have killed you! Do you not understand? But, Father, you were the one with the musket. It was you who nearly killed him. I think Father means a strange person, most likely godless. He's a fisherman. That's all. He had a net in his boat. He's a savage! He's a savage with a boat. He must come from a village. Did you not see the gold coin around his neck? We know nothing about him. Don't you see? He trades. I have to protect my family. You have to protect your ideas. Isn't that what landed us here in the first place? How dare you! I will not be spoken to like this! Fritz! from? Uh, another island? Island? Do you, do you have a village? Um, uh, yes, the, the coin. Do, do, who, do you, who do you trade with? Where, where are they? Where? With that one quite. You're going too far, Fritz. Can't you see? Father doesn't want to leave this island. This man has coins, which means he trades with other people. He'll show us where. Sorry. Um, my name is Fritz. My name is Fritz. My name is... My name is... Mama, the... the... Nam Namatiti. You see Namatiti? That's his name. Um. Uh. You show me. Coin? Where? Come on. But I. Father was. Fine, go alone. Oh. 
sorry. I have something to tell you. Fritz has gone on the boat. He did what? He went with the native. He called him Lamatiti. Lamatiti? What has Fritz done? Perhaps he's done something intelligent and resourceful. Something you should have done. Mama. Don't hit by. Do do, how are you? ไปเพื่อนเองไปไป
wine? You show me. We have not lost another son. I tell myself the native will be looking after him. God will look after him. Oh, yes. Of course. God will look after him. You would question God? No. It's you I question. What is happening to this family? Do you think in this world you know so much more than Fritz? More than the native? More than the rest of us? What's happening is this family is growing up. Sarah. Is it my fault? What? No. I spoke to Mr. Cribbs, and Father said I should have known better than to speak to a strange man. Father has so much to worry about. He cares about all of you so much. He truly wants the best for us. You must believe that. Hey. Shall we go to the lagoon? Just the two of us. Come all this way, Lara. Be strong. When you stop fighting, it's so easy. There's no pain. It's so easy. Lara! What are we going to do, Father? Why doesn't Mother wake up? I don't know. Mother. She's been bitten by a snake. Mother, it's Fritz. Father, this man's name is Namatiti. He knows how to live here. If anyone can help us, he can. Namatiti, come. Okay. What kind of snake? You must tell him quickly. I don't know, I didn't see it. Sarah! It's black. 
black with yellow stripes. Fungorus fasciatus. Why well, don't we tell him that? Look, we're talking Latin, that's for certain. Buzz, first some black seaweed. Sarah, buy something yellow. Hurry! Yes? Wu Bong Tong. No, enough of this! Father, we must try! Do you trust him? Yes! I could teach my children how to live here. Give them a chance to start afresh. But I forgot that even the teacher must open his heart and learn. I beseech you, do not take my wife away from me.
I'm so sorry. I love you. I forgot to say it. And I forgot to do it. But I do, and I will. Namatiti. Father. I owe you my wife's life. We will not forget. Kabekan Suna. My name is. Kabekan. Kabelola. You ever going to sort out this? My name is confusion. <laughs> Shona Namatiti! <laughs> Thank you. Go on then. How do you feel? <laughs> Better. <laughs> <laughs> would you like something to eat or drink? I would like to see you swim with your children. Can't 
this personally, Captain. It's merely business. You have business. I want that business. We could be partners, Blunt. I make good money more than you think. Those on bull transactions, I know. But not partners. See, a partner is a liability. A partner is an albatross around your neck. Pardon the pun. Blunt, I saved you and your men. You did, Quirk, you did. So little justice in this world. I was said to have my own ship at one time, my own command. Passed over. Don't think this is easy for me. You did save us. You're personable enough. Go below, lad. Go below. What kind of man are you, Blood? The kind of man who's in command. share in the profits from our trade. These are our waters, our islands, and this is Captain Blunt's crew and ship. Anyone not happy? Keep high, let's see. I brought you both to get drunk, you know. I have even had a bad Jake. 